types of chemical reactions part 3 redox reactions when oxidation and reduction take place simultaneously in a given chemical reaction it is known as a redox reaction in the first equation oxygen is removed from barium sulfate reducing it to barium sulfide and the removed oxygen adds to carbon oxidizing it to carbon monoxide in the second equation oxygen is removed from sulfur dioxide reducing it to elemental sulfur and the removed oxygen adds to hydrogen oxidizing it to water as in both these cases oxidation and reduction reactions are taking place simultaneously these are known as redox reactions neutralization reactions a chemical reaction in which an acid an alkali or base react together to form salt and water is called neutralization reaction edible oils are compounds that is esters of alcohols and organic acids that is carboxylic acids these acids in oil are neutralized by alkaline soap or detergents and this reaction is indicated by turmeric that is yellow color present in food which turns red in color corrosion and rancidity corrosion corrosion can be defined as the slow process of decay or destruction of a metal due to its chemical reaction with air moisture or acids a reddish brown colored layer of iron oxide formed on the surface of iron objects is known as rust which is the effect of corrosion its molecular formula is Fe2O3 dot H2O corrosion causes damage to buildings bridges automobiles ships and other articles mainly made of iron corrosion can be prevented by coating the exposed surface by applying paint or anti-rust solution or by the process of galvanizing or electroplating with other metals steel is an alloy that is mixture of nickel chromium carbon and iron as it is not pure iron it does not get rusted rancidity rancidity is a chemical process in which edible oils or fats get oxidized over a period of time oils or fats acquire a foul odor taste or froth due to oxidation or when allowed to stand for a long time storage of food in airtight containers or addition of antioxidants prevents oxidation and thus rancidity